I made an ecosphere and found some cool animals inside. First, I'm gonna show you how I made the ecosphere. After that, we are going to get a closer look at the animals inside. I was on a hike and found a great place to make an ecosphere. It is a little freshwater stream. First, I got some of the substrate. This includes stones, dirt, sand. So basically everything that is on the bottom of the stream. This is also where most of the animals you will get in the jar live. So I made sure I got enough. You can't really see if you have animals yet. Just scoop some substrate and hope for the best. I wanted to see if there were plants in the water, so I got a closer look. The only thing I could find were some algae, so I took some to add in the jar. First I continued my hike before I took the water. I didn't want to carry the weight of the water the whole way. It was leg day, not bag day. Near the end of the hike I found a place where I could take some water. As you can see the water is not clear at all, it will take some days for the dirt to settle. This is about a week later and the dirt has settled a bit and that is when I saw this animal. This is a caddisfly larvae and no, it's not humping the jar, otherwise it would have lost no nut November. They wiggle their tail to get more oxygen out of the water. When the larva is fully grown, a flying adult caddisfly will emerge. Normally a larvae of these animals have a protective case. They will use sand, dirt, leaves, sticks to make this case. It will protect them against predators and the environment. The one in my jar doesn't have one, but a few days later I noticed that it started to make one. It was using the algae that was forming in the jar to make a case. And as you can see here, it's still wiggling to get oxygen. They don't like to be out of their case long, so this one went back quickly. I also found a smaller larvae. This one wasn't interested in a case, but he wanted a snack. He's feeding on the algae that are forming at the water surface. This little flatworm was also exploring the water surface. I'm sorry for the bad quality of the footage, but when you see how small this flatworm is, you will understand. That very small black dot at the surface, that is the flatworm. I'll have to wait for the dirt to settle more to see which other animals live in here. Subscribe if you want to see how the case of our larvae turns out. Thanks for watching and I think you will like this video next.